Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day because I am going on a solo trip to London. I'm really excited. Um, the reason why I'm speaking so quickly is because I'm getting late as always. So I need to get going now. It's raining but I don't think I can use an umbrella because I need to drag the suitcase. Oh, I didn't show you my outfit. Look. It's a shirt, a blazer, and my jeans. This has been inspired by a K-drama actress. I think I can put up her picture somewhere here. Okay, so now let's go. I've made a blunder. I've locked this. And I can't remember the passcode. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'll probably have to break it once I reach London. Going down. So I live in Nottingham and I took a coach to London and the tickets were actually super cheap. It costed me just about like five pounds to London and uh, the return ticket was also five pounds. So totally, I think it was just about like 10 to 11 pounds. There's my bus over there. Let's go. I booked through Flix bus, um, not National Express, which is actually quite expensive. It takes about three and a half hours to get to London from Nottingham. You can purchase an Oyster card to use public transportation in London or you can do what I did which is using a contactless card. London is super expensive, not gonna lie. Uh, the tubes cost more than the buses and I think this ride or pretty much every single ride in the tube cost me about like £2.80 I think, I'm not so sure but it was definitely over £2. Okay, so I just reached my hostel. Now I'm gonna go to Sky Garden and I actually didn't show you my outfit so wait a minute. Perched at the top of a skyscraper, Sky Garden is a three-story glass dome that offers incredible views of the city. The entry is free and if you fancy a drink or a bite, there are a couple of restaurants and bars so you can try them as well. You can make your way to the observation decks and open air terrace and then you can stroll through the lush landscape gardens. market now for some food because I'm really hungry. Uh, fun fact, I think Harry Potter was shot there. You know the Diagon Alley. I think that was shot there or either that was so awesome. I should have worn my jacket. Really cold. I wore thermals and then a shirt and then this blazer but I'm still cold. It is sunset for the view but the sun doesn't set till like 8 8 30 pm now and I'm really hungry. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, 80% of the stores were closed there. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I expected this market to be uh, similar to Bro Market. But it wasn't like that. It was, it was quite like upscale to be honest, like with fancy restaurants and stuff like that. You can actually buy tickets to enter the tower bridge. I checked the website and it says that it costs about like 13 pounds. I'm not so sure. Um, but I didn't really do that. I, I was super tired to be honest. And it was really cold. So I just chose to admire it from afar. I'd stay for longer, but it's really cold. So I'm gonna go back. By the way, if you didn't know, there are Uber boats here. So if you want to get to one place from another, you can literally take an Uber boat. Yeah, it is expensive though. Yeah, it's London. I mean, come on. So when I was in India, I had watched this YouTube video by Insider Food which listed out the best restaurants to have fish and chips in London and from that list, the one that was nearest to my stay was this one, Puppies. This was in Camden, so I just had to go there, like I just had to. I know that some people can be really conscious about dining alone at restaurants and to be honest to this date I still haven't understood why exactly that is I mean I just don't know I mean I've like even when I'm in group settings when there's food I just keep eating I don't talk so um, dining alone to me it's it's just normal to be honest you know I mean I like food I like my own company so I don't really care That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my vlog and I'll see you in my next.